Got another little quick tool update here. Just got a couple items. Start with the glow rods here. It's a 15 foot kit. Uh, they you know, screw together uh, real nicely. Yeah, these stainless steel tips. They're real strong. Uh, you know, I like the Harbor Freight ones, you know. Uh, they give you the little eye, the eyelet, and then there's a like a just a you know, normal hook on there. Can't really get the cap off with one hand, but yeah, just the two basic attachments. They make they make a bunch. I saw the deluxe attachment kit that looked pretty nice, but I, I just don't I don't really pull wire all that much. I couldn't really justify the sixty bucks or whatever for it. But I tell you what, if you were a cable installer or uh, or just pulled a lot of, uh, you know, an electric probably uh, electrician or a cable installer would probably both uh, be able to make use of most of those things. So and then we got the uh, the Klein or Vaco, you know, I guess Klein bought them out at some point. I don't know the exact history on that, but I've noticed that uh, the name is like interchangeable. So as uh, an 11 30 seconds long shaft drive, I got this because the multi nut driver, uh, the, if you, uh, checked out the comment I made, I, I pinned the comment about it. This is kind of an update on the update on the multi nut driver video, the video that had that the 11 30 seconds nut driver ended up being pretty shallow. So, and it's one you need uh, quite frequently for condenser fan motors, actually. So it's kind of a, uh, you know, a little bit of a, takes a little bit of the shiny off the tool, to be honest. But the rest of them were, give you uh, a nice hollow shaft. Only the 11, 30 seconds and a quarter inch, I think, on there. Don't, they just give you like a shallow nut driver is what you end up with, with the multi. So, and then it has, apparently this handle is going to give me cancer. So that's, that's cool. I really like that it's that it's green. You know, they kept like that that theme. You know, um, green is the the trim ring size on the eleven thirty seconds climb drivers too. So, and I just got this plumber putty. That's not not a tool, obviously, but because uh, I was it was a Home Depot order, I needed some plumber's putty for stock anyways. And I just at least once you got your order over forty five bucks, it's free to ship it. So I was like, oh, why not? You know, um, but just so and then. Uh, these, you know, the nut driver and this uh, infrared thing that we're gonna get the infrared gun I'm gonna get into uh, came in this box, you know, which is a little oversized, whatever. Um, but then the plumber's party came by itself in this box with like all this paper. Like, that's just so wasteful, man. Like they definitely they came from the same shipper, even. You know, this this uh, came from like this came from on track and this came from UPS or whatever. But I just can't believe how like. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Like the plumber's putty is like a four. I mean, like they had to, that the shipping on that had to cost as much as the. I don't know. I don't know how that works, but whatever. Um, and then I got the uh, Klein uh, infrared gun here. I recently uh, I had a really nice um, fluke temperature gun. I don't forget the model on it or whatever, and it had the K type uh, pro you know um, socket on the top too, so you could plug any kind of. Uh, K type uh, pipe clamp or whatever you want, and it had like a really nice. Uh, it was for pipes too, but it was like a Velcro strap or whatever. Um, I don't know what happened to it, man. I don't know if someone lifted it from me or whatever. Um, I'm pretty disappointed about it though, because I think it's about it was about 400 bucks new for everything I had. It had the nice blow molded case and stuff too. All I have left I could find was the the case. It has the manual in it. That I didn't use. Had the spot for it. So that's kind of a bummer. Uh, I'm, it might turn up somewhere, I guess. I might have just misplaced it or I was buzzed or something. But, you know. Um, anyways, so I got this. It comes with a GFCI receptacle tester because I was wanting to get one of those anyways. I don't I don't have one, which is a little silly for the amount of electrical work I do. I just don't do that many GFIs, I guess, but I've always wanted one every time I've installed one. I've always felt like it should be tested. But So this was pretty affordable. I think it was, uh, it was again, it was kind of one of those promotional things where this, uh, um, the infrared, I think the infrared gun by itself was actually more than this little, little combo pack here. So I guess that's kind of cool. And actually, I ordered. I'm a little bit confused about this. I ordered two of these because I wanted to have. Uh, they said this is 15 foot set. I wanted to have 30 feet uh, available, uh, so I was just going to put them all in one tube. Um, 
and I ordered two for sure. I just double checked my order, and uh, they only shipped one. Again, it's this weird long box that they could have put two in, but I guess they're shipping them from two different locations or something. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, so uh, a little bit of a tool update and a and, a, and an expose of Home Depot's weird shipping practices, I guess. Oh, just got a little closer look at this get the package packaging off. Mm -hmm. I guess it is what it is. Yeah. Makes it a little faster. Obviously, I know how to do it with a with a multimeter, you know, but uh, it just makes it a little faster. And then, like I said, the GFCI tester is the real the real reason I got it, anyways, or the real reason I wanted it. Um, this I mean seems pretty nice. I guess feels a little on the cheap side. Uh, definitely cheap compared to the fluke, but I mean, what do you want for? I guess I think of. I don't, know, I don't even remember. It might have been thirty bucks even, but it was definitely no more than forty for everything. Yeah. Didn't even notice it comes in this little, little case too, so that's not bad. Yeah, again, kind of, kind of a shitty little case, I guess. But good quality battery. Anyways, yeah, I'm, do, I'll, uh, I'm gonna do a little accuracy test on this too. All right, so now we're gonna do the accuracy test on this uh, non-contact laser thermometer here from Klein. The IR1 is the model number. You can see the ranges it has on there. You go from negative four Fahrenheit to 752 Fahrenheit, and whatever those science numbers are down there. Not not of concern to me as an a as a uh, good old burger. But uh, there's a glass of ice water. Lighting it up pretty good. So it's hard to say exactly what it's hitting here. Could be a little bit of reflection involved. That's way off. There we go. So pointing right at the cube there, written 34, 33. Interesting, it seems to be getting more accurate as we back away a little bit. Yeah, there you go. You get it just in the right spot. It's pretty accurate. I already did the uh, under the tongue check there and that was within point two as well. So yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, there's 32 right on the money. So yeah, pretty accurate. And it's pretty close range. Obviously, the accuracy diminishes a little bit, or um, not a little bit, but on a sliding scale based on how far away you get. So um, yeah, so like I said, there's there's the ice water test, and uh, here's the under the tongue test. Let's see here. I just I got it to read 98.4 a minute ago. Ah. Well, I'm not being able to repeat that one, but um, just because I'm trying to do it on video, I'm sure. Yeah, it's a little closer, but yeah, I actually it was once I got it positioned right before where I got it pointed out because I got my tongue. I was looking in the mirror and stuff. I got it. Uh, it was red 98.4, so pretty accurate. I said a close range, obviously, and it's going to diminish a little bit as you get further away. It's it's on a uh, on some kind of a scale. It's like not quite. I uh, forget exactly how that works, but it has you know the sensor is cone shaped and it's somehow 10 to one or something like that. Yeah, it kind of explains it there, I'm sure. If I get the camera to freaking focus, that'd be nice. Let's try, uh, try a little bit of flash here, see if that helps. Not really. Yeah, there we go, finally. 
So kind of measures a bigger spot the further away you go, I guess. So, but uh, yeah, you know, pretty accurate for what it is. This thing was, uh, like I said, it was pretty cheap on. Uh, bought it up from Home Depot online there, and it's a uh, yeah, pretty cheap. And you can tell it's a Home Depot special by the uh, the orange countenance on there. So, but uh, it'll be accurate enough for what I'm doing. Uh, I still really hope my fluke uh, shows up. I, I just really hope I misplaced that, but I, I got a, uh, a ugly feeling in my gut that someone lifted it from me. When I, I'm usually on top of my stuff, but I guess someone might have caught me slipping for a minute. But um, So that's, they said that's that. I, the GFCI tester seems like it'll work out just fine too, so I put that in the tool bag already, and I just want to do a quick accuracy test on that, and I'm... Uh, the rating is uh, pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good.